So this video is all about some textbooks that I think are, are really, really useful if you're learning A-level physics. Although I've got an online thing, there's lots of stuff that you can do online. At some point, you've got to sit down with your textbook and just read through it to really understand the information. So here we go, here are my top books uh, that I recommend. Now, depending um, which course you're doing and also what your teachers have decided, you'll probably have a kind of core textbook. Last year, I used this one here from Oxford. Um, A-level physics for OCR, pretty obvious uh, what it's for. Um, but you know, some of these people like uh, Garinda Chadha, um, some really kind of good work that they've produced. I found that this book here, because I did read the whole thing, I found this invaluable when I was actually teaching the OCR course. This year though, I'm teaching AQA because I've uh, changed schools. And again, this one here from Hodder Education, I find is really, really good as, uh, you know, one of the kind of core textbooks that we're using. So these textbooks here, you'll probably have something which your teacher's recommended for you. You've probably bought it yourself, but it is important to have some kind of textbook that's actually related to the actual course that you're doing. So these ones here are the kind of two that I've been using for teaching. But what do I read when I'm actually preparing videos? So what I read is a book called Advanced Physics. I first saw it about 10 years ago when I was doing a physics course. It was a recommended text. It's by Steve Adams. You can find it on Amazon, uh, often for not much money. But the good thing about it is it has basically more than what you need for A-level physics. It goes into quite a bit more detail. Although it's not aimed at any, any kind of ind individual kind of exam board, um, it's kind of really very well written. Uh, and there's a lot of information here as well as kind of plenty of uh, old questions from different exam boards. So my first book I recommend is Advanced Physics by Steve Adams. But really, this book here is my favourite, A-Level Physics by Roger Muncaster. Uh, if any teachers uh, are watching this, I'm sure you'll probably comment below that you've found this book incredibly useful as well. Uh, I actually stole it from my last school. It was on the shelf, so hopefully they don't want it back. And they uh, actually uh, stole it from another school in Wales at some point in the past. Uh, so this book here is pretty old. There's basically no colour inside it, no photographs. It's just pure physics. And it goes into a huge amount of detail about certain things, as well as just diving straight into the, the kind of real kind of... Um, you know, just some stuff here that isn't, it's not explained, it's just straight into the proper facts. But I think that this one here is definitely one of the best books I've read in terms of understanding some of the kind of essential bits for A-level physics. And it's the kind of thing that really kind of shows you the, um, you know, the derivation of all the formulas. So A-level physics by Roger Muncaster is definitely one of my favourite books. But when it comes to actually learning the physics, it's all very good uh, reading stuff, but you do need to do lots, lots of questions. This book here is called Practice in Physics. You can again find it on uh, Amazon. And I've got, again, I've got links below this video. But this one here is a book that just has hundreds and hundreds of questions, okay? If you do all these questions, there's no way that you can't do well in the exam in the summer. But this has maybe uh, been surpassed, or at the very least, there's something which is very similar which is Isaac Physics. Again, this book is just uh, full of questions. I know I've made a few other videos about Isaac Physics, but this is one of my favourite things. It's only a pound, uh, maybe free, given to you by your teacher. And again, if you do all the work in here, that's going to really help you actually practice applying the knowledge that you've got uh, in new circumstances. So Isaac Physics and Practice in Physics both have a huge amount of questions inside them. But if all you do is read textbooks, then you'll be a very, very dull person. Uh, this book here is a kind of example of the kind of thing that you should be reading. OK, Six Easy Pieces, uh, Richard Feynman. And basically, he just talks about, um, well, just basic science, OK, for the average reader, which is somebody like yourself. You could read this when you're doing GCSEs, and therefore, by the time you get to A-level, um, it's absolutely fine. But this covers so many bits of the course. So um, it's worth reading a bit about the topic, not just textbooks, not just doing questions. But, you know, have a look at stuff like this. Have a look at A Brief History of Time, which is perfect for Year 13. So um, the, they're my recommendations, really. Uh, the kind of core textbook, you know, you've got it. You're probably carrying it around, so you may as well read it. Um, as well as kind of uh, things like uh, Isaac Physics, Practice in Physics for Questions, Steve Adams, and um, if you can, get a, a Muncaster book but basically um, there's no excuse you just got to sit down there got to read some stuff and the more books that you read uh, the more you're going to understand the stuff so yeah they're my recommendations thank you